Hello, everybody. Hope you enjoy your shit. Special program in soon. Three minutes. Um. So yeah, let's watch it together. Let's see what happens. I mean, we get Primo Jimmy's, we get some Chaska shenanigans. More story. So, that's all the important stuff, okay? Also, R looks kind of banger, I gotta say. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty juicy, okay? Pretty, pretty damn juicy. And since that is now starting in a second, I will full screen. Um, I have to check my opera, how loud it is. And once again, as always, just as a reminder, my, my tuba friends, okay? In the description, I will put in the codes and the link you can use. Okay, you can put it also in game, up to you. But codes will be there. Copy paste them into the link or into the game, and you get Primo Jimmy's 300. They only last for roughly a day, so better be quick, okay? I mean, it's more like 17 hours and whatever, same shit. Anyways. Enjoy. Well, I'm dipping like an idiot. Nice. Never punished. Done sparse and shit. Okay. Ah, technically I could a little bit care. <clears throat> Anyways, what are you expecting from the thing? Okay. I enjoy seeing a banger trailer, okay? That is my plan. I plan to see a most fucking brilliant banger imaginable when I'm just leaking left and right out of my pants. Okay. That's a plan. Not this shit again. I should lost fucking hypnosis. Now that your ears bleed and I have your attention, like for the script. Helps your boy out, okay? I don't know how many subscribers I have right now. The last time I checked, I was at 68. I hope I'm at 69. It would be gold, it would be peak, but I probably have less at this point. Let's see what Hoyo is cooking. We're a tribe of warriors. In ancient times, we were responsible for patrolling and defending all of Nath. Oh, that's good. So Ultra Khan's still managing to sow discord, even after all these years. If you want to resolve oh, shit. a conflict through dialogue, sometimes you need a third-party facilitator. Oh my god, I want a bad thing! That the easiest person to find is. I fucking hope they do not announce my week, otherwise I'm broke, man. Mm, his spirit has gotten lost and can't find its way back to his body. I just want to rescue someone, and Granny won't let. I still don't know what to think about Roron. <laughs> 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 
500 years later, and it's resurfaced again. Oh! I worry that we risk repeating the mistakes of the Cinder City. Capitano boys, nice. As long as the soul is involved, I should be able to help. Oh my god, flank Chaska, wouldn't breed. Kinky. Horsey. I have no idea what the fuck's going on, man. Time to say hello. Knock him down. It's either your end or mine. Before the fight. No way! We do the thing again! Nah, man. Hoyo taught us in 1.0 about it, and now we play it back. First code already, holy shit, man. I think I fucked up now. Yeah, okay. W A. Okay. Once again, two bus. Description, okay? All three of them. This shit bang yeah, man. We do the the ball and flight again, but this time we fly behind something else. Oh no! That's that's the shit I'd like to see, man. Hey travelers, welcome to the Genshin Impact version five NPC homies. special program. I'm Gabe from the Loke team. And I'm Kai. We meet again. Look at the bottom left in the quick. Ah, oh, so cute. Want to join us? Hey, 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 don't be shy. Come out and say hello. <laughs> Head pets. I'm not sure what that meant, but it was adorable. <laughs> she approves of your compliment. Hey, I didn't know you could speak Saurian. <laughs> oh, I can't. But I can make an educated guess based on her body language. Whoa, are all Kukusors as friendly as this one? Adult Kukusors are usually very proud creatures, Cute. but there are always exceptions. Well, since our Kukusor friend kicked things off for us, I know just the place to start. The Flower Feather Clan. All right, let's do it. Kukusors live among the Flower Feather Clan, which is suspended high above the mountain. Oh, okay. This is a tribe of warriors, and most of their people can command the power of the skies. It was the Flower Feather Clan's ancient duty to patrol and safeguard the entire region of Natlan. That's the As elite special forces, their job was to detect threats, disseminate intel, and quickly neutralize any dangers to the nation. Dude, this Though is such a goaded view. Now, Holy fuck, The man. tribe never forgot its origins. <laughs> they still hold trials to assemble the fastest teams in the tribe. The trials test no the way. skill and teamwork with the Cuckoo Swords. Oh, I'm so hey, that, that's actually cool. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, Kukusors are no. the proudest out of all the Saurians. They know that they're the kings of the sky. Kukusors can consume phlogiston to climb higher or perform a horizontal roll in midair. Holding the sprint button allows them to enter an accelerated glide state after a horizontal roll. In addition, they can even use phlogiston wind tunnels to quickly cover great distances. Okay, nice. So assuming that Kukusors are really hard to tame. Yeah, that's true. You need to prove yourself in some worthwhile feat, like demonstrating exceptional archery skill during flight. That's the only way to become a true Kukusor rider. Wow, that's so strict. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah, good. Tell me about it. But okay, now that we've got a glimpse of the flower. Ozzy, it's clan, your time to shine. It's time for a quiz. What? Already? <laughs> yep. I hope you're prepared. Every tribe in that land has a unique way of communicating with their Saurian companions. The members of the Flower Feather Clan use a special item to summon their Kukusors. What is that item? Okay. Um, uh, uh, a basket filled with their favorite foods? Here's a hint. We just saw the answer in the previous video. Oh, I, I, I remember now. Uh, horn. Ding, ding, ding. Kukusors Don't live far the from the tribe and from each other. So in order to summon them, the tribe's people mm. use whistles and horns to produce loud noises. So there's your overview of Kukusors. 
Maybe they sound a little unapproachable compared to other Saurians, but don't worry, travelers. If you get into a tough situation, then Chaska, the Flower Feather Clan's expert peacemaker, can help mediate the conflict. Mm. Knitch mentioned that I'm a Guna. I'm Guna. Is silencing both parties. Is that true? <laughs> well, that's. I want her so bad. She's so fucking cases. hot. I don't give a fuck. What I'll say, I don't give a Chaska fuck. These people. Everyone knows what she's capable of. So blind. People use Straight up blind, a way man. To set aside their differences when she shows up. Oh, so she doesn't just handle conflicts between humans and Saurians. She keeps the My peace God, I wish I would be her stool. Exactly. Chaska was corrupted by abyssal power as a child. So she has a strong compulsion to fight. But she knows how to rein it in. Right. I heard that she was abandoned as a baby. Mm. It seems like she's been through a lot. Yeah, but... Luckily for her, the Cuckoosaurs took her in and raised her as one of their own. In addition to hunting and flying, Chaska gained a lot of unique combat experience from her Saurian childhood. When Chaska is in your party, defeating monsters will restore phlogiston to your party. While she's in the Night Soul's blessing state, Chaska can ride and control her gun like a Cuckoosaur. The soul I want it so badly. Just increase her movement speed and resistance to interruption. It also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies. Wow, that mid-air perspective is so cool. It seems so so great. nice. Yeah, and Chaska's fierce when she's in the. Zone. Oh my God, the ball looks so good. Soul's blessing state. Chaska's normal attacks deal animo damage to enemies in front of her. Unleashing a charged attack in the state will cause Chaska to enter a special aiming mode. This allows her to lock on to a set number of enemies so good. within range and fire up to six shadow hunt shells, which deal animo damage. I don't know how good or bad it would be. In it addition, doesn't look too good. Pyro, hydro, cryo, but it looks fun as fuck, man. electro character in your party, one of Chaska's shadow hunt shells will undergo an elemental conversion to deal the corresponding type of elemental damage. Whoa, no way. So Chaska can directly deal other types of elemental damage based on the characters in her party mm. and since she's an animal character she can swirl them at the same time that's awesome yeah it's I so know, good right her elemental burst has a similar function too no the fish is in the team she should mention she should mention during her burst which deals animo damage the attack then splits into six soul seeker shells which continue to attack nearby enemies these shells can also undergo elemental conversion. Oh, That's so cool. Mm. No wonder she's one of the strongest warriors in her tribe. Speaking of her tribe, the warriors from the Flower Feather clan are formidable for sure, but we should also Ooh. shed some light on those who aren't as skilled. Oh, are you talking about the wingless? That's what the tribe costs people who fail the flight trials, right? Mm -hmm. They're the challengers who fail to earn the recognition. Of Guy the looks depressed as shit. Exactly. But the name doesn't indicate that those people are weak or deserve to be cast aside. The Flower Feather yes. Clan has its own definition of strength. There's a tacit understanding that the wingless are supposed to be protected until they can fly by themselves. But that assumption is challenged in Tribal Chronicles Flalokan. Someone will dare to ask, what I am. If you didn't mm. need a cuckoo sword to fly. If you could change the rules, that would be nice. Maybe there wouldn't be any wingless to begin with. Now, whether that's the right path is for us to discover. Chaska will also be there to help us find the answer. So, be sure to check out Chaska's Tribal Chronicle if you're interested in what happens. Is there anything else that you can tell us? Hmm. Ah, remember how I mentioned that Chaska was raised by Kukusaurs? Yeah, tell us about it. <laughs> Her Saurian mother will make an appearance in this quest. Even though she's joined hey, no society, way. Chaska still goes to visit her Saurian mother on occasion, especially when she needs some help with a tough situation. Oh, so Chaska still has a soft so cute. Side, even though she's a fearsome warrior. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> The she the party is also the setting for the archon Yansan. chapter 5 interlude all fires fuel the flame the tribe is facing a crisis and they'll need the traveler's help to find a solution what kind of crisis well the flower feather clan suffered the worst of the abyssal contamination during the battle in version 5.1 it's not just the human body that can't withstand high concentrations of abyssal power for most people it also damages the mind Many members of the Flower Feather clan are suffering from the mental repercussions of the abyss. My god. The tribe is in desperate need of aid. Iansan will be there too. After rebuilding her own tribe, 
the collective of plenty, she's traveling around Natland to help those in need. The people of Natland really value unity, don't they? No one fights alone. Right. That's one of my favorite things about Natland. Oh, wait. It looks like the captain will also be there. Daddy yes, Tano. the captain will also offer help to the tribe. You may pick up on some interesting information if you pay close attention to what he has to say. The captain rarely gives away too much information in his regular interactions, but his secrecy here seems a little <laughs> peculiar. So keep an eye out. But of course, restoring. Also, I can already see that shooting stuff with arrows all, the war isn't over yet. can be pretty damn chibo heavy in that area. Very if I'm not pretty mistaken. Mental fortitude more than ever before. The Flower Feather Clan is pretty close to the Masters of the Nightwind, where the Ichthomosaurs live. That tribe could be another good place to recover from the battle. Oh yeah, let's check it out. If you head west oh, you from the Stadium Wait, of what? the Sacred Flame and go past the Towering Walls, you eventually arrive at the settlement of the mysterious Masters of the Nightwind. The tribal settlement offers a unique glowing landscape at night, that's cool. If you venture even further, then you Ooh. might encounter the tribe's wife, Ectomisaur Elder, or one of the many shamans who can communicate with spirits. <laughs> That's cool. Heard that the That's pretty fucking dang. Live there can help cleanse your spirit. This looks so good. Plus, the graffiti art is really incredible. In fact, it there's glows something special about this one. Can you figure it out, travelers? Yeah, that looks like a chicken. It's kind of tricky, right? Or something. Well, don't oh, worry. No. The Ectomisaurs can help us out. No way! are known for their wisdom. They can use their unique oh my sight God. to detect things that can't be seen through normal mains. That's Whoa. bang. Okay, oh great. no! Ectomisaurs are especially skilled at detecting ley lines and phlogiston. They can absorb power from phlogiston objects to enhance their abilities. Doing so allows them to jump higher, move faster, or even obtain surprising rewards. Ectomasaurs can also extract information from graffiti art to create special objects. Oh, I bet that'll come in handy for solving puzzles. Definitely, especially what? in Tribal Chronicles Mictland, no, sure. which will become available in version 5.2, the first two acts feature a lot of intriguing puzzles, so be sure to check them out, travelers. Some of them will require the help of an Ectomisaur, and others can be solved on your own. I noticed that Dude, Ectomisaurs is... can perform fast-paced jumps when they Yansan. have enough logistin, and Leaks it kind looks of... like so oh, yeah, yeah. Do we know anyone who can mm. use that ability? Besides the new Saurian, I mean. Yes, Auroran can do it too. Oh, wait, what? Auroran has the ability to rise into the air. He also has a keen sense of perception. What? Nah. Shot, this is so cool. Will enter the spirit Wait, this is actually cool. Allowing him to extract power from Natland's graffiti and runes. Speaking of Aurora, Ain't the way. I was honestly super Look at surprised him. by his personality. But he can't have known. one Archon quest, I thought that he looked like a stern, stoic, and <laughs> harsh type of character. But as it turns out, he's just a sweet kid. Yeah. It's kind of unexpected, right? Okay, I need him. Really Shit, man. Sweet, Shit. I need him now. All the sneaking around <clears throat> his granny's back. Please uh, tell me both of them are the same banner. Uh, please. All the masters of the night wind are known for being eccentric. But Auroran really takes it to the next level. Yeah, it's I mean, he, like if he's he that, okay. Yanta must have I something similar as well. If that extends to his combat ability. <clears throat> but I assume Yanta will be jumping into the air and then a bit different from the punch on the ground or some shit so far. He doesn't need to depend on the Night Soul's Blessing state to gain Night Soul points, and he can maintain the Night Soul's Blessing state even while he's off-field. Oh, okay. Ah, that okay. does sound different from the other Natland characters. So, how do his abilities work? Let me start by explaining how Auroran gains Night Soul points. This can happen in multiple ways. For example, Auroran can gain Night Soul points when one of his party members triggers a Night Soul burst. He can also gain them when other party members deal hydro or electro attacks to enemies after oh. Auroran unleashes his elemental skill. Oh, oh then it okay. sounds like he works well with hydro and electro characters. <laughs> <laughs> when no fucking shit, Shadow. And in combat, when enemies take damage from electro charged reactions or other party members deal night soul aligned damage, Auroran can consume night soul points to enter Fish the mentioned again. state and trigger the hypersense effect, dealing electro damage. Oh, I see. 
So you need to pair him with the right characters if you want him to gain Night Soul points, enter the Night Soul. So basically, state, you have to use him with Fischl, otherwise exactly. you will hate yourself. Though I Got should it. mention that Auroran doesn't need to be on the field to trigger the hypersense effect. Wait, he can trigger it even while he's off field? That sounds really useful. Totally. His elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal damage and support your party. Mm. Auroran performs an ancient reach roll with his burst to summon a supersonic oculus, which taunts nearby enemies to draw them in. Once they're up close, the oculus releases a sound wave to deal damage. That should be great for crowd control. Yes. I don't know. I, I think it look, looks like complete dog shit. Large groups of enemies I know, but, but maybe be just me. Easier. And speaking of making things easier, Auroran can also improve the exploration experience by boosting the gliding speed of your characters. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Auroran really Don't care about that part. His friends with a little teamwork on his I see side, the Kulus on a blind. Victory will always be within reach. Cool. So we introduced two of the upcoming regions in this update, the Flower Feather Clan and the Masters of the Nightwind. But there's more. Version 5.2 actually introduces another new region. Ooh. It's called Ochkanatland. Oh, I think we caught a glimpse of this ancient city when we were looking at the Flower Feather Clan. Ah. It's really beautiful from mm. far away, but those clouds look kind of ominous. It looks completely abandoned. On this wind. Is it dangerous? Yes. This is a restricted area in that land due to Ooh. its severe abyssal contamination, and it seems uninhabited. Over the years, many adventurers have come here in oh. search of treasure or to slay the dragon. That's cool. Unfortunately, none of them have ever returned. The Flower Feather Clan often sends riders to patrol the area and to prevent people from getting too close. Wait, did yeah, you say but the, slay the dragon? Those metaphors? Yeah. I know we introduced some adorable Saurians earlier, but this creature is Ooh. actually really terrifying. It occupies this ancient city and guards it fiercely. If it detects an intruder, then it will attack without hesitation. Nice, the born the It's pretty concerning. It's easy to take human saurian coexistence for granted these days, but it actually took generations of effort to reach this point. This relationship wasn't nearly mm. so harmonious. I like how they use Hyper Pueblo. Travelers will need to explore Ochkanat land to uncover the reason behind this dragon's rampage. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you did with me. Nice. Won't have to do this alone. Here, take a look. Oh, what's oh, that? That's this cute. is a very important companion who will help us explore Ochkanat land. His name is Kokui. As for his power, well, why don't you take a guess? Okay, uh, is he our moral support? You know, maybe he could make a cute noise every now and then to cheer us up. <laughs> hey, let's not put our Tapetlasaur friend out of a job. Little one works really hard. Okay. Then I've got nothing. Remember how I mentioned that Oshkanatlan is heavily corroded by the abyss? Well, oh. that's where Kokuik comes in. We can use his power to clear abyssal contamination. Follow the direction oh. indicated by his light to collect secret source scraps and enhance his power. Once Kokuik has enough power, you can take him to track down the evil dragon. What oh. a useful little guy. I know, right? Nice. Now, travelers can explore Oshkanatlan with two companions. Kokuik and Little One. In fact, I've heard there's even a special token around here that can enable Little One to traverse a volcano. Hmm. A new adventure with Little One awaits okay. in version 5.2. This update will bring us one step closer to uncovering the mysteries of Little One's past. Familiar Saurian companions can also help us explore Ochkanatlan. For example, with the help of a Koholosaur, we can evade source mechanism attacks. With the help of an Ikitomisaur, we can solve certain puzzles. With the help of a Kukusaur, oh. we might even be able to chase down the evil dragon. Dude, this but is cool. We'll leave the rest for you to discover, travelers. This Wait, is are nice. Are those some kind of lava fish? Does this mean we can oh my fish God. in that land? Yes. Wait, but fishing? Some friendly advice, travelers. And we you should be very careful while exploring Ochkanatlan. Some of the abyssal monsters here can distort their appearance to mimic powerful enemies. I'm fine with that. monsters such as the Tenebris Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. Uh-huh. It looks like these monsters take the form of plants outside of combat. Yep, that's true. The Abyss has corroded Natland's ley lines, allowing these monsters to read the memories inside of them and mimic creatures from Tevat. <clears throat> How do we defeat them? Travelers will need to oh my use God. elemental attacks to break the enemy's protective void wards. 
doing so allows them to take damage and causes them to enter a brief state of confusion. Night Soul aligned elemental attacks are especially effective against these wards. Wow, the Abyss has gotten so advanced. New boss. It's scary to think about how much harder these fights will get. It's probably for all run. Technically, they need yeah. to have two bosses, okay. or maybe. That was a lot of information. Um, just got and him used the same boss. It's a possibility too. First break. We still have a couple of short announcements. Really short, I promise. First up. Limited time expiration rewards will be available in version 5.2. Just like in version 5.1, travelers can earn up to 400 extra Primo gems. And the rewards will be available all the way through version 5.3. It's now time to introduce the event wishes. In the first half of version 5.2, travelers can look Chaska Luni or Ron. wishes from Chaska and Lim. Nice, it's pretty good. And I'm not pulling for a weapon! Yeah. And in the second half of version 5.2, we'll have a return oh God. event wishes for Zhongli and New Villet. The weapon banner will feature a new 5-star bow. That After thing looks so good, but I'm not pulling. Fuck that! No, no, no! No, you don't go. Hoyo, you're sure not getting me. If you're interested. All right, it's time for our first break. Once we come back, we'll dive right into the event portion. Time for the next promo code. 7 TLM XSD 243 Junior. <clears throat> nice. I'm ready. <clears throat> Look at the little creek. Oh my god, we need a teapot, man. We need all them teapot. I want to kidnap like 50 of them. Look at Bubble. No, don't run away, my little boy. <clears throat> Look at them wobbling. Welcome back, travelers. Welcome back. Let's dive straight into the event section. So in the first Wait, event, what? we'll get to learn more about the masters of Community the Community issue. That's right. In the version 5.2 event, that sort looks good. Seeking scrolls. Travelers will team up with Sitlali and Auroran to get to the bottom of a mysterious accident that cool occurred within place. their tribe. Travelers will need to complete combat cool. challenges to defeat enemies who try to disrupt the ritual. They'll also need to reconstruct scenes from the tribe's woven scrolls and gather lost spirits scattered throughout the region. <clears throat> that Travelers thing looks will good. Only be able to uncover the truth if they collect all the clues. But don't worry, there are also various rewards to earn along the way, including primo jabs. Ooh, I really like the vibe of this event. It looks like Sitlali is doing yeah. some kind of ritual. It's also mysterious. When a situation gets it kind of gives me granny to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, Sitlali yeah, and Aurora what's the name? have some really fun dialogue Ujuang? in this event. <laughs> I'm always grabbing Paula the popcorn vibes on whenever these somewhat. two interact. They're practically a two-person show. And speaking of fun, let's get into the <laughs> event gameplay. First up is the Search for Lost Spirits minigame. Travelers will have to work together to Not earn this shit. scattered no. spirits into specific zones to earn points. Pay attention to the conditions on the field if you want a higher score. Oh, thank God. For example, travelers it's a can team jump thing this on time. stone slabs that appear on the field. These slabs <laughs> will break open and release even more spirits. Storms may also appear during the game. You can this game was so dark at the last time. If you pay attention to the direction of the storms. In Evil Banisher, travelers will need to select the right teams to complete the objectives. Oh my god, Chesko. Completing all of the objectives will award you the Banishing Aura, which allows you to deal AoE damage by spraying paint at enemies. Oh, cool. paint really matches the Masters of the Night Wind's aesthetic. It's super cool. Yeah, and so does the Spirit Luna <coughs> in restoring fragmented records. Oh. Sitlali will use her powers to reveal special That's fragments. cool. Travelers will need to piece these fragments together. Nice, that's something I like actually. On a woven scroll. Hmm. Make sure that you pay attention to the order and positions of the fragments. Oh, there's something else that we should mention. Travelers can obtain a new four star sword by completing that thing this looks event. good. The design definitely fits the Masters of the Night Wind. That thing looks, it looks like some kind of ceremonial artifact. 
I totally agree. <clears throat> what does the oh, weapon do? And this event will allow travelers to learn more about Natland's secrets. <clears throat> I want to see the This man. quest will reveal new clues about a mysterious and legendary place, the Mare Javari. Wow, we've been hearing about this place since. Months. Ain't no way. It'll be nice to get some new information. Mm -hmm. On a related note, oh, the pretty Adventures good. Guild has prepared a new trial for its members. Active adventurers have been invited to take on the challenge, including the travelers. That's a cute travelers will need to complete various challenges with designated characters and fully leverage their skills to earn rewards. I know you're up to the challenge, travelers. Good luck. In Mondstadt related news, the Knights of Favonius are conducting a war game to improve security tactics in the region. Ooh. And who better to test these tactics than the honorary knight? Be sure to pay close attention to the game, since the format has changed this time. Travelers will need to select combat units and stratagems to deploy against the opposing formation. Once the lineup is set, the monsters will fight automatically. <coughs> Available <coughs> combat <coughs> units and stratagems are completely random. You know, just yeah, I don't think Pyro Slimes have the war ability war to the fight The chances of enemy. encountering elite combat units increases as the war game progresses. Even more elite monsters will be available for travelers to use. Dude, it's that's kind of cool. Environment. So do your best to win as many rounds as possible, earn work in medals, and oh collect my god. Rewards. All right, let's keep the excitement rolling in this next event. We actually have a demo, so please take a look. Ooh. Oh, looks like they're selecting tactics. Double damage? That sounds powerful. Oh no, I don't want to. Oh, it's automated. Cool. The elemental reaction <laughs> effects are completely different. This brand new heated battle mode is called automatic artistry. Powerful support cards. I hope I don't have to do it. I don't want to elemental do it. reaction. Choose cards that align with your strategies to trigger powerful elemental reactions. The effects will change depending on how you play. In addition, the overall gameplay is very laid back. Characters will automatically duel each other and skill animations are now shorter in length. Wow, it's like we got a whole new genius invocation TCG after coming also, back from Natland. When can you use fuck out this? I'm so confused, man. <laughs> That's right. I miss Even shit. if you've never played Genius Invocation before, I really recommend checking out this new gameplay mode in version 5.2. The new version will also bring oh, a few updates to regular Genius Invocation TCG. Do you ever feel a little cooped up while you're playing card games? Well, don't worry about that. The Rosario looks pretty give damn good too. The opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. In Claw Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some adopted animals. Travelers will be able to see the animal's point of view by using a special tool. Once you've managed to deduce their location, mm -hmm. you'll be we able to We had this before. That one is pretty good. I like Once this the event. animals are safe and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. I feel like Auroran would really shine in this event. Why the fuck is a fuck Mutal there, definitely man? definitely an animal lover. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I'm the sure thing. that he would jump at the chance to bring <laughs> <play> animals <laughs> from other nations. Yeah. Finally, the Leyline Overflow event will return in version 5.2. If you need Mora or character EXP materials, then keep an eye out. Yep, All probably right, do. Let's dive I'm into some updates and game optimizations. First up is the change to the Imaginarium Theater. Okay. Previously, travelers would be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge um, and have to reopen okay. the Fantasia Good. Tome to continue. Travelers provided feedback that this setup interrupted mm -hmm. their experience. So, this will no longer be the case in version 5.2. Now, after finishing a battle, all you need to do is click Next Act if you want to keep fighting. <laughs> nice. Travelers can now enjoy the thrill of combat <laughs> That's pretty without good too. any interruptions. And for all the generous travelers who like to configure supports for their friends, a supporting caster record has been added in the new update. Oh! You can now check which friends have borrowed your supports by looking at the supporting cast. Okay, that's pretty damn good. Cool. I, that, that makes It'll me happy. It'll be nice to know that our supports are helping people out. Yup. Oh, that's very good. the party configuration mechanic has also been optimized. Besides the elemental filtering, the Imaginarium Theater will now feature okay. recommended row icons, elemental statistics, and markers for the main types of enemies. That is so helpful. I'll occasionally put together a random team if I've just started experimenting with some characters, but this information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. These markers will yeah, I don't need that probably, but it's good to have for but people that are uh, not position. as fortunate Hopefully, with Talon. this change will make it easier for travelers oh, to knowledge. form the best teams. Yes, <laughs> now we can directly see which elements work best against specific enemies. That's definitely going to save some time. 
for sure. And we can expect even more optimizations in the future as if you have questions continue to about theater, always feel free to ask me. You can also okay, always add me. The other system Down below should be an Akasha link. That's basically my UID. You, you can, can now just sort add me. artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtain them, from the most recent to the oldest. Second, That's pretty the good. animations for crafting materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter in length. Ooh. That's really nice. The dev team designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have to watch them over and over again. There that is will true. also be several optimizations for the Serena teapot. The seed dispensary can now hold more of every type of seed. You'll be able to oh, that's so wood good. at the Realm Depot in exchange and this, for with the wood currency. I already knew. In addition, the because cool the it already. Of the elder that's extremely will good. Be reduced to five seconds. This way, it will be easier for travelers to collect. And farming wood. trees awesome. is no easier as well. I've been meaning to use some oh, cool so good. replicas in my Serena teapot, but I'm always short on wood, so this should be really helpful. Nice. This is actually good. So that you. changed like oh, so far good. Optimizations have been made to artifact locking. The updated lock assistance interface will allow you to configure lock settings with a single click. Just hit Ooh. use recommended settings, and you're set. The recommended set lock plans will even update automatically based on popular in-game configurations. Of course, if you have your own ideas in mind, then you can always disable the recommended oh. plans to configure custom ones instead. That's the pretty good. Also allows you to batch I would lock probably not use it because in it's too much effort to learn. Recommended general lock plan and set lock plans. This will make it much faster to organize your inventory. In addition, a shortcut button that navigates to the lock assistance interface will be added to the artifact domain challenge screen and the artifact acquisition screen. This should make okay. it easier for travelers to configure their locking rules whenever they want. A star feature will also be added next to the lock button on each <coughs> artifact. Travelers can use this feature to mark their favorite artifacts and filter by stars to quickly track them down. That's kind of cool. Finally, That's cool. treasure compasses will now be able to locate even more treasure locations, including sealies and time trial challenges. That's so good. A quick swap That's feature so will also be added for treasure compasses and Oculus Resonance Stones. Enabling this feature will allow travelers to more easily use these devices That's across so good. regions. The feature will automatically switch to the compass or stone that corresponds to. I can finally 100% everything. Oh awesome. god! Be sure to check out. I think I have to do a 24 hour stream at this point, man. Version 5.2 optimizations. All right, that was a lot of info. So this seems like a good time for our second so, break. So rip. It's time for the um, third redemption. The map, code. I guess. Also, last code. We all love codes, don't we? JS45. E T D J L K M D. If I'm not completely mistaken, that is. And once again, reminder for the two birds, it's down below in the description. I got you, dog. Okay. Hmm. And fuck, I'm on Chaska, man. I'm having issues. All I can say is... Primo count doesn't look too good. Okay. Welcome back, travelers. What else do we have on the agenda, Gabe? We have some very exciting news to share. After the version update on November 20th, Travelers will be able to play Genshin Impact on, on the Xbox Series X and S. Log into Genshin Impact on Xbox Series X and S consoles to receive the Wind Glider Wings of Fate's Course intertwined. Additionally, I'm Xbox pissed. Game Pass Ultimate members can play Genshin Impact via cloud gaming. They'll also find extra rewards in their in-game mailbox. Awesome. Awesome. All right, that should be everything. That means that we've reached the end of the special program. I want to see if there's is there something else mentioned you now. Before we go, Kai? Yes, I'm really I have the feeling the they're going to show something Chaska else after thing. I hope really so, at least. Incredible. I'd love to see how her travel chronicle unfolds. The patch feels more like a filler patch, but at the same time it has exploration and story, and so like it shouldn't be. But we'll see, actually. Going to shine. What about you, Gabe? 
Yeah, I'm just so excited for players to experience more of the also storyline. And One and a half weeks. We have so much to explore this time. I mean, two new tribes. New and pitch. A new I'll be so well. soon. Hopefully. And one thing I've and always loved about Genshin Impact my is how it's multi-platform. Drip marketing at Monday, like, I'm okay? Always in two in weeks devices, at the Monday. Depending on where I am, so it's just exciting Important. to it's see like another platform become available for everyone. 10, 11 days yeah. some shit. And um, yeah, on that note, I hope you have fun with the new version. That will be travelers. banger. Bye. All I can say. Bye. Bye, my NPC homies. Anything else? Doesn't seem like it. Rip also. Rest in peace. We won't be missed. Anyways, Tugas, I hope you enjoyed it. I think overall, patch looks pretty damn good. The banners, I'm not going to pull on the weapon banner. I'm sorry, Chaska. I would like to have your bow. It's not going to be happening. First up, I don't have primos. Second, I have the second grade magic. I don't want a third grade magic. Okay. So. Yeah. I also have to win a 50-50. If I don't win the 50-50, I can probably not even get her. Because my weaker. In the next patch. Most likely. Hopefully. We'll see. Also, no information about Pyro Traveler yet. Which is... Kind of a bummer, but then again, it's assumed, at least, that we'll get it with the Pyro Archon. With my weaker hottie. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed it. If not, it sucks to be you. Anyways, have a nice day, morning, evening, whatever the fuck you have. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. See you in the next video. Whatever that will be, whenever.